Hey guys, Zack here. Do you guys ever sit and look at Yu-Gi-Oh cards and wonder, where the heck did Konami get these translated names? Well, for you guys, I've compiled a list of hard-to-pronounce Yu-Gi-Oh TCG English names and the almost proper way to pronounce them. Most of these, I've done my best to research, and the others, I've just deconstructed and then spoken through that form. Today for you guys, we have a newer archetype that takes us back to the primordial era of the Earth. I refer, of course, to the Paleozoic archetype. The Paleozoic monsters are all strange water-dwelling organisms, and as such, have a scientific reference point based on their namesake. Almost all of them are actual physical creatures, and with that, we can grasp at how they're supposed to be pronounced. Today, we start with Paleozoic Linchoilia. Paleozoic Linchoilia is a strange banish recurring trap monster that is currently bothersome to have to read each time your opponent recycles their frog monsters back into the graveyard. It is a very strong card indeed. Next is Paleozoic Eldonia. During its release, Paleozoic Eldonia hadn't seen much play, but regardless, putting it on the list is definitely a necessity as some folks don't know how to pronounce a strange name like Eldonia. Following that, it's time to draw some cards with the power of Paleozoic Pikaya. Paleozoic Pikaya is one of my personal favorites, and I've heard it bumbled and fumbled, without intention, many a time at locals. Paleozoic Olenoides is our next choice. Also known as the MST of the Paleozoic archetype, Olenoides has a quaint enunciation that harkens back to a strange little trilobite-like creature, and of course, the art on the card will aid in the understanding of that as well. Following this, we turn to the awkward, flower-like creature of Paleozoic Dynamiscus. Spoken either Dynamiscus or Dynamischus, based off the location you live, this tough removal threat has been the bane of any opponent the Paleozoic archetype faces. In my homeland, it is Dynamiscus. Paleozoic Hallucigenia isn't exactly the toughest one to pronounce, considering its name is pretty much hallucinogen and genia combined to make Hallucigenia. Next up, we've got another trilobite-like creature. The foolish burial of the deck, Paleozoic Morella isn't as tough as Dinomiscus, or Olenoides to spell, but it's good to know that sometimes not everything is a tongue twister. Paleozoic Canadia is simply just Canada with Ia at the end, another short one that most folk will just look over. We've covered the main deck Paleozoic cards, now, let's take a look at the two Xyz monsters in the form of Paleozoic Anomalocaris and Paleozoic Opabinia. Anomalocaris can be remembered simply as Anomaly and Caris fused into one word, kind of similar to the way Canadia is constructed. These monsters are based on primordial worms, insects, and massive ancient fish-like creatures that dwelled in the ancient seas of Earth so it's no doubt they're going to be having a scientific name attached to them. That wraps up today's list of Mystic V's How to Pronounce series. Leave a comment below on cards you want to see me break apart and find how to pronounce. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, and a subscription if you really liked it. I want to thank Zodiac Duelist and all my friends on Facebook for helping me get a good list of cards that I'll be going over in future episodes. Some may be tough, others an annoyance. But in the end, I appreciate your guys' support, and I'll see you later. This is Mystic V, and I'm signing off.